260 million years ago, Skull Island was born, merely a large piece of land just barely splitting off from the giant continent known as Pangaea. During this time period, the rulers of planet Earth were large reptiles simply known as the mammal-like reptiles. These animals were the ancestors of the mammals which rule the Earth today. They were the original inhabitants of Skull Island and have survived through the Permian extinction, which was said to be even more catastrophic than the extinction of the dinosaurs, which shows how hardy these animals are. Skull Island's actual origins remain unknown, but it is most likely that it broke off from what would become North America, as many of the mammal-like reptiles surviving on Skull Island resemble animals which once lived on North America. This is one of the descendants of those original inhabitants of this magnificent island. Lycasaurus kirki, which means Kirk's wolf lizard, a four to five foot long mammal-like reptile which evolved from the famous Gorgonopsis which ruled much of the Permian period. It is now nothing more than a pack hunting scavenger with enough intelligence to only hunt baby dinosaurs as well as keep its species alive. These predators mate for life and dig their burrows out of the volcanic soil of the grasslands where they make their home. Lining the inner workings of their burrow with dried up vegetation, the pair will usually have twins for pups. The small predators usually follow large V-Rexes and Venatosauruses to steal whatever morsels they can that these giant predators leave behind. This is another Gorgonopsid which inhabits Skull Island. Malamagnus vadum, which means big mouth of shallow water. The 15 to 20 foot long reptile resembles and acts much like hippos of Africa. Swimming through the swamps of Skull Island, the Malamagnus used their large tusk-like teeth to rip out weeds and, un and underwater vegetation to eat. However, despite being herbivores, the Malamagnus are extremely aggressive, seeing off any rivals or small predators which might threaten the herd. It is during the mating season when these large males show off their ferocity. Locking jaws, the males start, a, start up a push-up contest with their powerful neck muscles. In the case of mating for Malamagnus, it is a case of whoever's got the biggest muscles. This is Dinocanosaurus, which means terrible dog lizard. Dinocanosaurus are three to four foot long cynodonts that inhabit the jungles of Skull Island. They live in small family groups consisting of two to five individuals, with each pair having between two and three pups. Using speed, intelligence, and maneuverability, a pack of Dinocanosaurus can bring down larger prey, including ground birds and small herbivorous dinosaurs. With the ability to jump great distances and use coordinated attacks, the predators can bring down anything that is of decent size. These are two mammal-like reptiles which inhabit the uplands of Skull Island, preying and scavenging on whatever they can find. The one on the left is Gladiodon ingenospinus, which means fire spine sword tooth. These fearsome predators reach between 8 and 18 feet long. Using ambush and lethal claws and teeth to its advantage, the Gladiodon leaped onto its prey's back and inflicted fatal wounds which would cause the prey to bleed to death soon after. The Gladiodon also specialized in taking out other predators of the highlands, removing competition. The mating rituals for these predators is quite remarkable despite their fearsomeness. Males would shake their dorsal fans and show off their teeth to entice females who would wander between the males and decide who was most fit to mate with. The other predator is Malevolusaurus predator which means male malicious lizard destroyer. Malevolusaurus is a sail-backed mammal-like reptile which can grow anywhere between 20 and 24 feet long, the largest predator in the uplands. Despite its ferociousness, the Malevolusaurus is more of a scavenger, using its size and its sail to make itself look even larger to scare off smaller predators from their kills. The young of Malevolusaurus are extremely vulnerable and their biggest threat are their own kind. Around 80% of young Malevolusaurus fall victim to predators, but out of that, 70% are killed by their own kind. However, their size means that uh, cannibalism is the only way of uh, controlling the species population, as the only thing that can even take down a fully grown Malevolusaurus are Gladiodon. Next time on Walking with Kong.
we will be looking at some of the lesser known carnivorous dinosaurs which rule Skull Island. These are the vicious killing machines which have captured the imagination and the lives of many of the explorers on Skull Island. See you next time.